So, hope everyone's well. Don and my Ruthless Fitness hoodie given to me by Ricky Colleen. He'll uh, be getting a big shout out and I'll tell you why when I hit 10,000 subs. Um, keep getting asked to do a Khan Brook prediction, which I'm refusing to do because my last prediction was so far out. I'm not going to embarrass myself any further. So I'll break the fight down to the, as best as I can. How much of each, how much of each fight, how much have, has either fighter got left in the tank? I don't think much of them have got much left as far as performing at the level they've been performing at. You know, but just look at the depth of the resumes on the both of them. They've both fought the best people out there. Now, Khan is... Khan's faster. Khan has speed. He's faster than Kelbrook. But Kelbrook is actually quicker. And if anyone knows, you know, high-level boxing and knows what I'm talking about, there's a difference between speed and quickness. Speed is them fast twitch fibres in your muscles that allow you to put combinations together really fast. Quickness is being able to read and time and counter in a split second. Kel's better at that than Amir Khan. So Khan can win easy if he uses his speed and he boxes and he uses his movement. I think he can beat Kel Brook, not relatively easy, but I think he can definitely win on points um, in a hard fight. But I think he wins on points if he uses his boxing and his movement. If he decides to trade it out and his ego gets the better of him and he wants to go to war with Kel Brook, I think he'll get sparked. That's my opinion. Somebody at the door. Bye-bye for now.